Hi, Pisces Seeker. My amazing Pisces grandfather passed away early morning yesterday, the morning of March 18th. And I'm going to try to do this. I love him very, very much. He was in a lot of pain, so he is relieved now. But losing a loved one is never easy. Especially at these times where you're not allowed to to have Shiva's, you're not allowed to have people visiting. It's He's in the other side of the globe with my family. It touches all of us, huh? He died peacefully in his sleep. His name is Max, formerly known as Mordechai, and I can't mention him without honoring my grandmother who took care of him for the past few years. My grandmother Hana, and wearing her jewelry. It's an original Chanel. She's a Scorpio. He was a Pisces. Quite a talented Pisces, as many Pisceans are, but he, he opened a mythological um, hairdresser salon, hair salon in Jerusalem. All the models and actors came to see him. And then he closed it and opened a mythological legendary cafe, Cafe Max also in Jerusalem. It was my first job at the cafe. I was basically paid to eat cinnamon rolls all day long and pretend to give clients their, ca their coffee. And I was paid five shekels an hour, which is basically a dollar fifty. And right afterwards, uh, after, you know, finishing up all the cinnamon rolls in the cafe for the day. I went down the street to buy ice cream with the money that I've earned. Over there we call it American ice cream. You guys know it as, you know, the squirrel ice cream. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Magician. This is my grandfather. Right here. Traveling young on a boat from Casablanca in Morocco. He was a Moroccan Jew to Israel. And creating one hell of a world. A world to be remembered two eights and then the infinity which is also an eight 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 very karmic very destined very specific life path very intense meaningful he didn't behave like it he was a firecracker he was very funny very sweet loved children loved me And I hope, I hope I took something from him. Such a hard worker and so talented and so positive. Making his imagination come to life. And then working on it. Pisces. Is this you as well? Yep, 
Yes, I'm grieving. Yes, it will be induced in the reading. I'm here on your path as you are on mine. Secret. The two can't ever truly separate. When I give you advice, when anyone advises you, they're always somewhere on their journey. Another infinity symbol, another eight, but it's the two of pentacles. A journey across the sea. He journeyed across the sea from Morocco to Israel. But where can you journey now, Pisces? Everything is closing down. Maybe by the time you see it, it will already open up. But right now, I'm taking this as four eights because of the infinity symbols and the magician and the two of pentacles and just the vibe. Destiny, karma. Something to write a book about at some point in your life. Remember these days, Pisces, something very big is happening to all of us as a collective, of course. But I'm talking to you. Did you get stuck on a boat? I hope not. If you are, I wish you all the best and hope to see you on safe land soon. If you manage to last minute get to where you needed to go to, good. If not, there's something for you wherever you're at at the moment to go through. Understand, at these times, nothing happens for no reason. Everything. Very, very, very meaningful. There is something, someone in your ancestors that is very powerful. I will even say a magician or someone who, you know, dabbles or just a very powerful energy worker. It exists in you, but you feel like you haven't quite mastered the skills yet. But it's there. Don't let doubt keep it dormant. How to wake it up? Do everything you love doing fully, passionately, unapologetically. Of course, not at the expense of other people. Be discerning with my messages, with all messages. Another two, two of swords. There is someone, either you or someone else, that doesn't know there's a lot going on around them in regards to them, but they're oblivious of. Something they can't see or won't see. Ten of Cups. I say it's a good thing. A bond, a love. My grandparents had that magical movie love. They've been together for almost what seventy years. Very loving, very devoted. One of those rare stories. She was supposed to be with someone else. Her parents didn't approve him, Queen of Swords. She was too high and mighty. But she approved him. Someone doesn't know she's a queen of swords. 
she doesn't know how much someone is working for her how much thought and effort and heart they're putting into something that they're doing for her Too strong to tell that she's loved because she's been at it on her own for this entire time with no one to assist so now it's not even a thought it's not even a possibility it's not even a wish a hope it's just her and her sword I like the flower. See the red flower here on his table? And how many red flowers, roses she has here? This is what this magician has in store for this Queen of Swords. My grandmother would say in the past few years as she was passionately taking care of him, when he was hung between life and death at home, refusing to put him anywhere. And she was a nurse, now that I think of it, when she was young. She would always say how much he did for her. Now that now that he needs her, it's her, it's her turn. Maybe some of you are at that stage when you're younger. when you're going to take turns in doing so much for one another. Maybe you're watching me now from old age, thinking that's what we had. Good. Good. Ace of Swords. So, this is one of those magical readings that Pisces tend to have. The story of a journey of true love, of magic, of destiny, the sword of destiny. Your life is going to be very different than what you're used to, Pisces. Judgment. Your life is going to be very different than what you're used to, but it's been in you all along, waiting, waiting to wake up. It's like the butterfly is so different than the caterpillar, but it's still the caterpillar. caterpillar sees other butterflies it knows in theory it can but it doesn't know how it feels until it flies and you're going to fly my grandfather is now flying in a bit of a different way but I feel how calm his energy is he's at peace so to take it as an analogy a metaphor you will be experiencing a big sense of relief something that has to do with what we're going through right now of course in one way or another I'm not saying it will skip you I'm saying quite the opposite it will deeply affect you I don't know specifically the semantics but it will be the boiling point that the water needs to get to. They don't feel themselves to be boiling until they're boiled. You don't know how much you've grown until 
one moment shows you who you have become, Pisces. Too much. Someone who knows a lot. Judgment, Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords. Someone who knows a lot. It's cognitive knowledge, but it's also spiritual cosmic knowledge. And we all have it inside. It just needs to wake up. Show me more for Pisces, please. Wow. Hierophant, Three of Swords, Seven of Cups. There's our reading. We go from eights and twos and ten to one and three and five and seven. You're starting to see how your personal relationships and the interaction and the energy affect you philosophically and affect your consciousness in a more vast level. You understand your pain better. You see your own confusion. You see into your own mechanism, into your own mess. You understand that two of swords to three of swords. You understand that that which you have closed, protected, has been stabbing your heart from the inside all this time. And now that you see it, you literally pull the sword out out of yourself like Arthur pulling the sword the Excalibur out of the rock instead of being your own detriment it becomes your weapon Once you defeat the parts within you that were trying to kill you and hurt you, then nothing can hurt you. If you couldn't hurt you, if you defeated your own self that was trying to hurt you, that's, that's the hardest battle. And nothing else can hurt you. But then it will get a little bit confusing because more dangerous than it is to take someone's peace, it's even more dangerous to take someone's war. Because when we fight something or force something, it gives us a purpose, a reason. If you were battling yourself, whether you knew it or not, Give your reason, shadow work, consciousness, evolution, well now what? I had a place for this sword, now what do I do with it? Swing it. And speak it. 
There is knowledge here that can benefit people. You can't be a magician and a hierophant and a queen of swords with an ace of swords surrounded by the energy of judgment and not speak your wisdom, Pisces. Like me, for example, right now, whether you're sad or happy, morbid or joyous, I just press play with the intent of trying to make a video, but I didn't know if I'll succeed, but I, I pressed the play. I teach you to use your pain and transmute it into energy. So what kind of a teacher am I if I can't set example and use my pain and transmute it into energy that can benefit you? I will, of course, honor my gorgeous grandfather with it and my gorgeous grandmother with it. You want to see them? He was so funny. He was so incredibly funny and managed to do such great things in his life and everybody just was inspired by him. You can do that too, Pisces. reach inside. There's a lot of secrets in there. I will continue this this in the extended it's available on Vimeo if you just want to have one video but also on Patreon if you want to have all of them and past months and lunar love readings and da daily rune messages and karmic shift and liberation for all the signs. I would love for you to join my Patreon. I created a 13% off on my Tarot Masterclass because a lot of you are at home wanting to make the best out of it. So if you were considering on studying Tarot, if you were considering on taking my class or any class, check it out. 90 pre-recorded pre classes about how to become a Tahochi and be an existential shifter. I also teach energy work and spirituality. It's a shamanic journey as well. So you don't have to just want to be a professional Tahochi. It's, it's about the craft of being, being a seeker, a seer, an existential shifter. The Rota of Taro Orat the Torah the Torah, the Wheel of Life teaches the laws of love. It's in the description box. I feel the need to mention this. So my beautiful grandfather, Max Pisces, right? 
my beautiful father, Egal, who died when I was very young, with cancer, and my beautiful baby dog, Oliver, who died um, November 2018, Scorpio. So. I feel like I have now an army of uh, an army of water angels. I have my own set of archangels. It's going to be okay. I'm saying this for myself, but I'm also saying it to you. It's going to be okay. I will finish up the extended over there with runes as well. We'll see more into it and into the narrative. Thank you once again for being here. I love you guys. And if you're new, subscribe.